That, of course, is the signature sound bite for our media scientist, Buddy Nelson Thal, who has joined the Oakley Show this hour. A little later, we'll be joined on the line live from Paris, France, by Pierre Salinger, former JFK press secretary, talking about the presidency and the press. But Nelson Thal is with us in the house. We've received so much feedback from Mr. Thal's uh, appearances on this program, both in studio and on the phone of late because of the situation in Kosovo and the like. Uh, dispatches to the extent, uh, well, in a nutshell, here's one that sort of captures the feeling of a lot of listeners to the program. It is thanks to the direction of people like Mr. Thal that some of your listeners are able to make interesting discoveries in media. He and you seem to encourage folks to use a critical eye on information and to try and seek out alternate sources of information. Now with the internet for the thinking individual to uh, have the freedom to cross-check, John, I can report again there's no news in the news just corporate press releases mm -hmm. and the families wouldn't be advised that they're necessarily dead yet John who's to say the families know anything about it if your son or daughter has been killed you don't have to advise the families and the families haven't been advised caught red-handed in propaganda lies and feed him information create the disease in order to get him to do things he's a media scientist he always cuts across the grain to be sure and doesn't walk in mindless lockstep with traditional media. I'm just the messenger. I think it's important we bring attention to all these other uh, new services. When you're living at these electric speeds, you must realize that reality is very difficult to assimilate. What media scientists do is they take the news as it's spun and break it down and use their understanding of the backstage in order to unspin it. We've been joined live on the line from Paris, France too by Pierre Salinger author, journalist, ABC foreign correspondent, and former JFK press secretary, Pierre Salinger. Welcome to CFRB Radio in Toronto and the John Oakley Show. Oh, it's a great pleasure. I appreciate it. We appreciate your being here in concert with our friend Nelson Thal, always putting a different spin on things. Let me ask, because more recently uh, you've been front and center in media reports for claiming that uh, TWA Flight 800 over Long Island was shot down by two missiles, uh, which has never been accepted as the official version. Do you still stand by that? Well, I, you know that uh, it was about a year after I said that when I was totally attacked by the media, I was totally attacked by the FBI, and so I decided that I would not say anything about it until the government had come out with a solution, but the government has not come out with a solution. But what's interesting is all kinds of things are going on in the United States right now which are not getting into the press at all. People are not aware of what's going on. As a former commander-in-chief of the Navy, came out in January last year, 98, and came out with a big report saying it was a missile, it was a naval missile, uh, the FBI is lying, uh, the Congress has got to go and do investigation on this. Mr. Salinger, I also think that uh, you were vindicated by the full-page New York Times article that was taken out by the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Admiral Moore. That's Admiral Moore. That's right, in which uh, he, as well as Benton Parton and others, uh, vindicated you by saying that TWA was shot down by two missiles and that uh, the government along with certain people in the media were covering it up. Now this is the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff who came out full page New York Times and agreed with you. Now that was not covered, that was a total vindication. Here we have a very very top level. Well, wait a minute, let me intercede here. I mean just because it wasn't covered, maybe it wasn't true and Admiral Moore and Pierre Salinger are off the mark on this. Uh, I think that, John, the thing you've got to remember that in a free and democratic, so-called free and democratic society, when the former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the Pentagon has to take out a full-page ad, that should tell you something alone. That now becomes more important than the story itself. Peter Salinger, I want to turn to you and ask you the question. Prior to the break, I was wondering, I mean, a lot of people would say, well, maybe Salinger's lost it here on this TWA thing with these reports, and how could he go public? He's discrediting himself. Are you bulletproof with your information on the sh uh, this plane being shot down by a missile or two? Well, first of all, I, uh, I wasn't going to talk about that until I discovered what the French intelligence agent had turned over to me, which was very important information about what was going on, and I was giving a speech uh, to 50 uh, airline companies uh, in southern France, and I thought there was a subject that I should talk with. Now, 
let me tell you that what uh, the FBI did and what the journalists did was totally illegal. Because every day, uh, and it was went on and went on and went on, and Calstrom was talking, was saying that the, the missile was a very important possibility. Well, that's right. And the real question is, uh, we had some very, very expert witnesses and eyewitnesses that witnessed this thing, and the FBI, for some reason, did not zero in on their testimony, but took the testimony of others who... So it's selective, is what you're saying. Very selective. Well, Pierre, I wanted to ask you about the reports we're getting that um, uh, Mr. C the President Clinton was advised that these leaders, important Kosovar leaders, were executed, and then it turns out that the executions didn't occur. Uh, who's surrounding Clinton and giving him and feeding this information? Nelson calls it creating the disease so you can affect the cure. Does anybody honestly believe the right hand wouldn't know what the left is doing? This is what Nelson Thal, our media scientist buddy who continues with us in the studio, has been saying for the longest time. You've got to step behind the curtain to really understand and, and recognize the patterns of what is taking place. Do you believe we're being manipulated, maybe uh, inculcated with false uh, type of information propaganda. Mr. Salinger, we're taking calls. Away we go. Let's uh, go to Ben first off on CFRB. Good afternoon, Ben. Hi, Johnny. It's a great day for talk radio. Indeed it is, my friend. Your question or comment? I'd like to direct my question uh, to uh, Mr. Thal, actually. Go ahead. Mr. Thal, uh, actually, I'd like to say that uh, Goebbels would be very proud of you. Uh, I'd li just like <laughs> to ask you about your uh, assertion that these Kosovar Albanian leaders are still alive. Could you name some of them for me, please? Yeah, well, I don't have the names. Uh, one of, first of all, they've already showed up with with Milosevic on television, and yes, CNN exactly. is now. Ryan Rugova, and that that clip is over a year old. My my brother-in-law was over there a year ago. Remembers distinctly that clip being on TV a year ago. So that's not a new clip. Maybe well. Well, these these men, the, no, no, these these men were were not. And Pierre Salinger's uh, on the line. Can, these men, and we talked about these men were supposedly uh, announced that they had been executed, and they showed up, and they're still alive today. Well, I don't have the names in front of me. I can. I, well, the, they were on CNN just the other day. Then the Reuters. I have in front of me both the Reuters and AP Wire. Uh, reports say that the supposedly executed Kosovar leaders are alive. As a matter of fact, Ibrahim Rogova met with Western journalists, according to AP and Reuters, met at his house to confirm that he was alive and unharmed, and told them, quote, we must stop the NATO bombings, unquote. The other names were Femi Agani, Baton, Hax, Hugh. Go ahead, John. I think the question for Mr. Salinger is, Mr. Salinger, certainly the, me the, the military is able to um, tell us the stories of how many are shot down, and if there was more than one, it's very easy for them to cover that up in the short run, wouldn't you say? Well, if they're covering it up, but uh, they have, uh, day after day, said that uh, these other planes were not shot down, despite the fact uh, that the Yugoslavia government said that they had been shot down. Felix with us on CFRB. Good afternoon, Felix. Hi, Mr. Oakley, and Hi. I just want to give a hearty... Uh, I had a Nelson, I had Nelson go, go, uh, go way back. <laughs> All right, your question or comment? Um, uh, basically, basically, how long does he feel that war is going to take? Or in other words, is it going to be another Democrat war, basically? Because most of the wars in the 20th century have been under Democrats. And the second question is, how did he know that that, that, that the Greek newspaper with the 19 uh, soldiers dead, how did he know it's not propaganda, was there photographic evidence, etc.? Uh, we don't know that. that uh, this is a, a reliable newspaper that we regularly follow long before these wars began, and it's important that we just uh, report and pass on what they're saying. There's time we can slowly cross-check cross it over the next few days. Uh, I think your other question, we should uh, let Mr. Salinger answer about how long he thinks the war will go. How long, Pierre, do you I'll, think this war will go? I'll let you take that, Pierre. 